In this example, I'm going to set up a compound inequality, an inequality using and and or, to uh, describe how many t-shirts or long sleeve shirts I can buy that's going to fit within this budget. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So first thing I know that I want to spend between $75 and $125. So I'm going to start with those and I'm going to do an and inequality. I want to make sure that on the low end of my budget, I want to spend at least $75. But on the high end, I want to make sure I don't spend more than $125. So I'm going to use those to set up sort of the, the bounds or the range of how many shirts I can buy. In the middle is where I'm going to put my algebra part of this problem. So uh, I can see that I'm buying short sleeve shirts for $12 each and long sleeve shirts for $20 each. And it tells me actually a little bit more. I know I want to buy three short sleeve shirts no matter what. So let's start with that. So 12 short sleeve shirts and I'm buying three of those which I could go ahead, I guess, right away and multiply to 36 if I want to. Uh, but in addition to that, I want to buy some long sleeve shirts, and that's where I have some money to, uh, I guess, play with. I could buy a few or, or more, depending on where I want to fall in that range. So my long sleeve shirts, recall, were $20. I don't know how many of them I want to buy when I don't know something in algebra. Let's use a variable. So I'm just going to use x. Uh, you can use whatever variable you want that would make sense to you. So there's my and inequality, my compound inequality setup. So now let's go ahead and solve this. So what I'll uh, do, recalling uh, what we've done without uh, story problem problems, uh, I'll go ahead and draw those lines there to separate this out. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to just change 12 times 3 into 36 right away. So really in the middle here I have 36 plus 20x. So I think the first thing I'll do is let's go ahead and subtract 36 from all all parts of this to get rid of that 36. So then what I'm left with on the left hand side is going to be 39. And then carry that inequality symbol straight down. Um, I didn't divide by a negative so nothing has to be flipped. All that's left in the middle is the 20x. And then that needs to be less than or equal to uh, 89 over here. Okay. Uh, one more step, then I want to get x by itself to figure out the number of shirts I can buy. So let's divide by 20. So I'll go ahead and do that on all three sides. And you're probably seeing right away, or if you pause this and try this on your calculator, these are not going to come out to be nice, neat uh, integer values, nice, neat whole numbers. So we're going to have to talk about how to interpret this to uh, answer the question. Uh, I'm, I've gone ahead and done the math already. If you need to pause and double check me, you can. But I find out that x, the number of t-shirts I can buy, uh, I want to buy more than 1.5 shirts, 1.95 shirts, but I want to buy less than 4.45 shirts. Well, uh, again, always go back and read the question and see what you're trying to figure out. Uh, and make sure, let, in this case, we're going to write a sentence to describe our answer as well. Hopefully you're realizing right now, if x is standing for number of shirts, there's no way I can buy 1.95 shirts. That doesn't make sense. So since this part of my inequality says that x has to be bigger than 1.95 shirts, that must mean I'm buying at least two shirts. I have to go up from there. X is big. big X has to be bigger than 1.95. So I'll need at least two long sleeve shirts. But on the other hand, I can't buy more than four point, oops, I spelled shirts wrong down there. Uh, there we go. Uh, I can't buy more, if I switch colors real quick, I have to make sure that X, how many shirts I buy, is less than 4.45 shirts. Well, again, I can't buy a decimal number of shirts. So at most, um, I can buy four long sleeve shirts. I'm just going to put four long for right now. So that's going to kind of describe the range of shirts I can buy. So I'm going to say I can buy, and then I'll just say between two long sleeve shirts and four short sleeve shirts. And so if you can kind of piece this together to make a sentence out of, I'm not going to rewrite the whole thing, um, that's going to be the sentence that describes this. And it's super easy to go back and check. We uh, just uh, we know we're buying three short sleeve shirts, so let's go ahead and take 12 times three, the $12 for those. And let's say we just do two long sleeve shirts at $20. And you'll see that we spend at least the $75 that we want to. On the other hand, if we go to the high range of our uh, budget, if I take the 12 times 3 for the short sleeve shirts plus the 20 times 4, I'll see that I'm still underneath the 175. So anywhere between those two, three, or four shirts, I'll be in my budget.